Jive Boys War Stories Part 2. Before my friend Travis Hawks, a.k.a. Zio, kicked the bucket, he said, Jive Boy, go be the most insolent SOB you can possibly be. That hitted me hard, brethren, almost as hard as bow-tied white bat telling me to make sure I farted before posting on X. I have a lot to live up to. At my alma mater, a few of us started a college Republicans chapter. The far left and the candy-assed Oregon Republican Party wanted us shut down, and with no explanation. The GOP were too big of pussies to confront us or even to call us, but we had micro-celebrity status anyway. The diversity officer always sent tail-bearers to our meetings. She walked in on us as if on cue. We had over 300 people on paper and about 20 who regularly attended meetings. Both most wimped out when Denny Smith and Stan Ash came to speak. Want to know what gaslighting, subterfuge, and fraud are? Start a political organization like the College Republicans. By all means, inform gay globalist feminist pastors about your organization, then tune into cuckservative radio and allegedly Christian radio for gaslighting and humble pie country antics. I gave you some clues in the last video. If I'm not clear, it's all on you. After the four merit raises at the employer in Newburgh, locals were talking about the Savage Nation and Robert T. Kiyosaki. A big fat rep from Portland was dispatched to tell us to tell the locals they didn't know shit. No candy ass, you tell them. Before long, Savage was deplatformed. The Oregon Republican Party made no statements. McCain suspended his campaign. Sarah Palin's accomplishments were redistributed to more worthy cuck-servative idiots. And after someone heard me mention the Leadership Institute, an undercover came out to casually bang on a pile of lumber with a hammer. Dude bro told us, no, ain't no such thing as damage control. Damage control ain't a thing, brah, a plumber. Dummy gave us rural Americans a talking to and the locals took it in the ass, as usual. Still no situational awareness. The Leadership Institute was verboten. Fox News was allowed. Dipshit strawman had a conversation near me at the grocery store. Duh, Endgame and Atlas Shrugged are too woo-woo for the sheeple. Duh, the people aren't ready. The stupid woman nodded in agreement and waddled off. There's not going to be a red wave in Oregon or Washington or California. Democrats will be safe as houses for another generation. Last I heard, the Oregon GOP was broke. In 2012, I banged out a six-point plan for turning the USA around. A few people in Facebook bravely told me they liked my plan. Other boss girls trashed me and acted my plan was theirs. Locals aren't good at keeping each other in the loop. Why? Because of globalist feminist churches and the new elite, girl boss medical professionals. Everyone else is considered crazy. Want my six-point plan again? Okay, pay attention this time. One, send your community's best and brightest to the Leadership Institute. Send yourself to the Leadership Institute. Two, People should watch and discuss the InfoWars documentary Endgame in church. 3. Side hustles and LBYM should be encouraged. Cash should not be coveted or stolen. 4. Youngins should read Atlas Shrugged. 5. Mind control books should be read and discussed by party leaders. If Dantalian Jones is okay for globalist feminist pastors, it's okay for everyone. 6. Turn your lawn into a garden. A legislator I used to work for sat his staff down once and calmly explained... The grassroots are there, yes, but they frequently don't get their way. We want money from big business, big banks, and the LDS church. After 45 got elected, I noticed the normies turning against Trump's 2016 Twitter army. What do you think explains this? To me, it's the mind control the churches, Global Homo Inc., the schools, and even never ever ever did anything wrong. Medical practitioners control legions of dodo birds. I've mentioned my books and Dantalian Jones books, but you guys seem to want to rely on Shapiro and a bunch of teachers for your info and your marching orders. Let me guess, you are ordered to march to the recliner and sit there watching the wall banger until you die of lymphoma. In non-political matters, I also accomplished the following. Leading salesman at a software store. I leg-pressed 1,600 pounds. I paid off my truck and my Dell computer years early. At a new department store, I got a good out-of-the-way gig and two small raises after the store opened. I can win cash flow 101 in 30 minutes or less. LOL. I managed to avoid getting vaccinated. I regularly get banned from forums by asking which failed Democrat policies the admin would like to conserve. 
I also point out the homeless are not Antifa. The party you answer to is run by fat, lazy slobs. I also point out Han Shu and jerks with money pay to be on cuck-servative radio. College Republicans and citizens against government waste are evidently off-limits to sheeple. Once, while working on a political campaign, we came to a field that was full of signs. We drilled two poles together to make our sign the highest. The boss said that was great. LOL.